today we're gonna to have a conversation about what you should not do with your beard. I've seen some crazy things on YouTube and I want you to be successful. So using some of the tips and tricks that I use, let's be on this journey together. Real men get it done. Okay, so I have several videos that you should definitely check out that's going through my whole beard care routine. I'm going to speed through and time lapse it just as I'm cutting my hair for this evening. But one of the first things that every man uh, should not be doing or should be doing, I should say, is making sure you have products for your beard. If you're expecting your beard to grow and you're just washing it like you would your hair on the top of your hair and going out into the world every day, you're gonna have a dry, brittle beard. So one thing that you should never do is, is, is to just wash and go your beard. You have to pay attention to it. You have to take care of it. So these are just some of the things that I use as I mentioned, I have videos that's going over these in detail, but you gotta have a, a beard wash, uh, some kind of conditioner, even if you make it yourself. And you have to be able to take care of your beard, moisten and condition it daily. So that would be the first thing that I'm seeing a lot of men do. You're just washing and going out in the world with your beard. You have to be attentive to it. You have to pay attention to it. And you have to buy at least some products for it to help in the growth and maintenance of your beard. Okay, so the next thing, as I mentioned, you wanna make sure you're paying attention to as you wash your beard. Today, I'm cutting my hair and I'm gonna wash my beard. So I'm gonna time lapse it so it doesn't take too long. But the one mistake I'm seeing guys do uh, and I'm getting asked questions about is when you do wash your beard, how are you supposed to do it? One of the biggest things in terms of not only having a product, but one thing that you should never do is wash your beard with hot water. I've experienced doing it both with hot water and cold water. And again, hot water dries your beard out. I don't know why the hot water, it's some, something that, that, that happens with the hot water, but it just is not a good thing for your beard. Um, cold water, if you can't do, obviously ice cold, even a lukewarm, more on the colder side, that's gonna be the best bet for you to actually wash your beard when you do it. Uh, cold water, um, if you can, wash your beard maybe in the sink so you don't get confused and wash it with hot water in the shower or um, turn your water on in the shower to cold, get your beard done and then heat it up. But do not wash your beard with hot water. We want cool water. Um, it helps your beard uh, to, to, to grow and be healthy and maintain itself so that it doesn't get brittle once you're done and come out of the shower. So please, Make sure that you're not washing your beard in hot water, cold water. Okay, the last thing that I want to talk about as I clean up my area a little bit of things to not do. Fellas, usually I don't want to be one to judge and to each his own, but we have to stop um, using relaxer and straightening our beards. It's not good. Um, even if you think of the women in our lives who, who, who perm their hair and use, use dye, usually you have to keep using it because your hair just can't live without it. Or once they do want to revert to a more natural look, they have to cut all their hair off and start from scratch. So, so bros, I, I know people are trying it. There's so many videos on YouTube, but do not, if you're starting your beard, even if it's growing a little bit and you want it to be more manageable, do not perm your beard. However, where there's an alternative, could definitely be using a beard hair straightener. Now I've been using this for several months. One, I don't use it every day, 
I think you can if you don't, uh, you know, use it uh, in terms of like just leaving it on your beard so that it'll get, you know, heated up and brittle. I don't think that's good either. But when I show you how I use it, you understand what I mean about using it every day. I would use this with a combination of a brush, uh, of a pick, which I'll show you how I use it. And you can use this to straighten your beard and to make it more manageable. Um, I, as, I, as I've uh, been growing my beard and I'm trying to get it more full under here, I've been using um, the beard strainer and really has seen how the potential of where it could go. Now, I'm an at-home barber, I've been trimming my own hair, but as I've gotten my beard a little bit fuller and thicker, I have recently found a barber in the past about six months that I've been going to. Since we've had coronavirus, obviously that's all been shut down. So even when I'm doing my hair now, it's just to really keep it nice and, and um, manageable. So I just look nice for my day to day, but I'm not going to spend too much time on my beard because that's why I found the barber for it, to make sure that he does it well and that I can manage it in between me going to visit him. So even for today, I, there's some imperfections, of course, in my beard as I cut it. That always happens because I'm a perfectionist and that's okay. But I want to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm fresh enough to go out and, you know, when I have to go out and about that I look nice when I'm not wearing a mask. Uh, and that the beard, the beard straightener uh, definitely helps to just keep your beard much more manageable than trying to perm it. So I'm going to show you how I go through my beard with the straightener and how I use my pick also and show you the end results. First of all, there are two settings, one and two. I put it on one. The difference is, let me see, 180 to 200 degrees Celsius. That's the difference. So I keep it on the lowest setting. I still use my, my, my pick to pick my beard out. I just washed it so it's not as tangled, which is a good thing. But this is how I use the beard straightener. I don't keep it on there for too long and I generally just go down over my beard. So again, if I was to keep it on here and press my beard, press my beard, press my beard, it's hot. Just like with anything, heat could damage it, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm gonna gently use it just as I would my pick and go and comb through my beard. Right, gently went through it. Go through one more time. As you can see, it's giving it a great, good length. And I can play around with it depending on how I want to style my beard. I can style it, make it use the beard comb up under it to make it fluff out a little bit more. I like mine to be kind of, you know, just nice and manageable, going straight down, just kind of how I would naturally have it to go. And just using my pick to fluff it out. And it's going through very easy. And that makes it a lot more manageable. It's full and the beard straightener helped in some of the detangling to have it nice and a little bit more straighter than it was on, you know, African-American, our, our, our curly hair. So that is my routine. I highly recommend um, get a beard straightener. This is one, I'll put it in the link, but it's $25 or less from Amazon. There's other companies out there, of course, that you can get one from. But man, I highly recommend you get one and have it in your arsenal. I much rather prefer doing this and, and generally using it on my beard 
than trying to put perm or relaxer in top and, and using that to get the beard straight and make it manageable. So that's about it. Real men get it done. I hope these tips and tricks will help you of what not to do and what to do for your beard. Until next time, peace and blessings. Real men get it done.